in Class 2A, King Street paying a visit to Dillon. This was one of the best games of the year, and the stars were out. Tanya Brown with her husband Charlie on Celebrity Row at Dillon High. <laughs> What a ball game. Fourth quarter, Dayshanique Peterson puts King Street up 44-38. She had 17 points, 12 rebounds, and five block shots, but she would foul out of the game in crunch time. So Dylan mounts a comeback, beating the press. Yolanda Campbell makes it a 49-47 game with 21 seconds left. So now, King Street at the free throw line. This shot is just off the mark. The seconds are winding down. Campbell. With one second left, count it. We're tied at 49. And with the foul, she goes to the free throw line. And this is serious pressure. And Yolanda Campbell gets it to fall for the win. 50 to 49. Dylan comes from behind to beat King Street. The Lady Wildcats are 26 and 0. They'll be in the state semifinals on Saturday. Our Mark Haggard caught up with Yolanda Campbell after the game. Well, I just had to do it for the team. Had to cut out, fouled out, brief fouled out. And I, had to, I, had, I was there by myself, so I had to go. I had to go for it. Had to. What a game. Meanwhile, at Latta High School, the Lady Whirlwinds of Timminsville looking to get to the state semis. But Latta had other things in mind. Shot A Live, the reigning Miss Hoop Zone Class A Player of the Year for the second straight year. She takes the feed here, led the Lady Whirlwinds with 17 points. But Latta got a big performance from their star player, Takaria Leggett, 16 points. Huge win for Latta, 40 to 35. The Lady Vikings will face Hemingway on Saturday morning in Florence. And the Lamar Silver Foxes won in the upstate in double overtime. So three of the four teams in the semifinals are from our backyard. Class 3A, Myrtle Beach ran into a buzzsaw. Orangeburg Wilkinson, they are going to be very tough to beat. They were in control right from the get-go. Zaria Snipes, the rebound, the putback is 14-2 OW early. This is a young Myrtle Beach team. They settled down in the second quarter. Kiana Adderton, nice finish in the paint, banks it in for two. And then the region player of the year, Keosha Walker. The bank is open. She had seven to lead the Lady Seahawks, but too much OW in this one. Snipes, final play of the first half. Look at the ball control. Count the basket and the foul. She had 13, 56 to 27. Great season for Coach Jennifer Dennison and the Myrtle Beach Lady Seahawks. Let's go to the Midlands. West Florence in the state quarterfinals taking on Dutch Fork. This was a tight game in the fourth quarter. Megan Cook puts West Florence in front, but Dutch Fork had that home cooking, and they take control of the basketball game. Morgan Williams with the bucket there. Then under a minute to go, Dutch Fork's going to ice it. Sydney Scholl to Williams for the easy lay-in. 45-38. to What a great season for Kevin Allen and West Florence. They reach the 4A quarterfinals.